to Monday's edition of Reptile News. Now, if you're still here watching, that means that you put up with all the crap I posted over the weekend, and you probably liked it. So you're still here, so uh, thank you. You're welcome. Welcome back. It's Monday. It's a new week. I think that's good. And moving right into our first story, Margaret Webb. That may sound familiar. She's the 90-year-old woman who lost her leg with the encounter with the alligator in Florida about a month ago. Well, good news, Wednesday Margaret was released from the hospital. The hospital's not releasing her condition or any other information other than she was in there for a month recovering and she was sent home on Wednesday. And good news coming from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service out of Pennsylvania. Good news for everybody, really. The Eastern Mississauga rattlesnake is uh, apparently, according to them, a prime candidate for the endangered species list. The snake is being added to a list with about 700 other animals on it for consideration of adding it to the endangered species list. So that's uh, good news. Hopefully we'll start seeing their numbers rising. Here's kind of a weird story out of Putnam Lake. A woman who died in a home back in June of an apparent snake bite, her boyfriend, I guess, called authorities saying, saying he arrived home and found her dead in the bed, um, an apparent victim of a black mamba bite. His pet snake, apparently the man keeps about 50 venomous snakes. So they came and they did their thing and everything and police said that she had an apparent snake bite. She was a victim of a snake bite on her arm, but apparently the police report said that she had several bite marks on her right arm and not only that, she had prescription pills in the bed with her and was being treated for depression as well. Weird. And of course, more than three months after her death, they're still awaiting coroner's reports and everything, so they're not saying for sure if she had snake venom in her system, but the coroner says they're still waiting for toxicology reports to see if she did. I don't think I need to tell you where they're going with this one. And now we move on to our douchebag of the day, which is 24-year-old Matthew Russell. Apparently, Matthew lives with his ex-girlfriend, lived, duh, with his ex-girlfriend, and they were fighting and he threatened to wreck her room and she went in and grabbed his coral snake, which is weird. Do you, you go and grab someone's coral snake. I mean, ew. I, 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 hopefully she knew what she was doing, but she grabbed his coral snake and threatened to release it if he didn't let her out of the room, at which point he apparently grabbed the snake's tail and squeezed shit out of it and started putting her fingers, his fingers in her mouth. Oh, oh, really? He was arrested and taken to jail on domestic violence charges and he, oh, he makes our douchebag of the day because how much of a douchebag do you need to be to shove snake shit in someone's mouth? Really? Anyway, that has been all your news for this Monday. If you'd like to read any more of these stories, that link's right down below here in the description. And as always, if you're still watching, my name is Jason White. Now you know what's going on in the reptile world. Be good to each other and we'll see you on Wednesday. And good news coming from the Fish and Wildlife Service. And good news coming from the U.S. And good news coming from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service out of Pen. Son of a. The Eastern Mississippi. Who's kind of weird? Putnam. Putnam. Putnam Lake. What the hell is that? Feel their teeth, puncture your skin.